بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to get into the ospo point to point networks like previously we have seen the ospo broadcast networks in the case of broadcast networks we have dr bdr kind of uh, scenario but whereas when you are running any point to point links now point to point links means if you are running any kind of serial interfaces like if you try to see in this example i got a router 2 and the router 2 is connecting to a serial interface on this side Uh, which is a point to point interface and i'm connecting one ethernet interface on the other side which is my broadcast network so if i try to see the differences here in case of point to point links there is no drbd elections here because generally it is a point to point link and there is no kind of broadcast uh, in general in the point to point link like when the update is sent on this interface of course the router 2 will not send back on the same interface now there is no possibility of loops so in point in drbdr there is no point to point interface there is no drbdr elections in point to point networks so that's the reason if you see here this column will be empty here so it will not show you anything on the serial interfaces so if you're using any serial interface with point to point or hdls encapsulations it will treat that interface automatically as a point to point and if you want to verify we can use show ip ospf interface Uh, you can verify this network it shows you as a point to point here and by default the it uses only one multicast address 224005 so there's no 6 here and automatically ospf is going to detect this interface type means you, you don't need to manually go and configure that so if you want to verify we can just go ahead and connect the link like i did a connection between the router 1 and the router 2 using the serial link and already i do have this configuration i configured this on the router side you can see i have configured an ip addresses and then also i did the osp of configuration between the router 1 and the router 5 so likewise if you verify i just did the configuration on the router 5 the interface is s1 by 0 the one which is connecting between 1 and 5 and also have configured the osp of here if you go and say show ip osp of neighbor you can see the neighborship state it shows you full but this column will be blank and there is nothing like priority kind of thing here so so basically this this column will be blank in general and if you want to verify we can use this command show ip osp of interface and the serial interface it is going to show you the network type is going to be point to point and the state is also will be will be point to point So in this uh, default serial interfaces, there is no DRBD elections required, and automatically OSPF is going to detect this link, and automatically it is going to uh, uh, it is going to ensure that there is no DRBD and there is no kind of loops here. But there are some scenarios where you may want to run point-to-point -point Ethernet links, point-to-point -point links over Ethernet links. like if you if you take an example sometimes like in this in this scenario here if you see we got a router 1 connecting on g0 by 0 and there is one more connecting on g0 by 1 and these are connecting on ethernet links now when i'm connecting on ethernet link means automatically the router is going to understand that these are my broadcast networks and based on the broadcast networks it will uh, decide the drbd options but in in some of the point to point connections like there are some again there are different there are various types of ethernet connections used like most of the some of, most of the wan ethernet connections like there is something called ethernet private wide service e line service so basically most of these wan connections which are provided over ethernet this can be point to point also so which means like like i said when you are connecting multiple sites we got a head office connecting to branch offices they all can connect to one broadcast domain and they can be treated as a bma network or using the same uh, broadcast network like the router may have a separate point uh, separate broadcast link probably a separate link for each and every each and every site or maybe so like sub interfaces or maybe a separate interface for each and every now in this scenario even though these are a separate uh, point to point links but as they are using ethernet 
Now the OSPF is going to treat this as a broadcast network and there will be a DR BDR elections process. But in some of these links, you don't want this DR BDR election. So because there is no point in using DR BDR option when you are running an ethernet link and if that ethernet link is just a point to point that will unnecessarily add extra convergence and extra resources. So what I want to do is, uh, even though I'm connecting my Ethernet link, which is the default broadcast, in this kind of networks where you have just an Ethernet link, but it is a point-to-point -point connection, and there is no possibility of DRBDR, means there is no point of doing, going with DRBDR, we can go ahead and manually change the network type to point-to-point. -to -point. So the default network type will be broadcast for all the Ethernet links, but most of the engineers, again, as I said, prefer to use a point-to-point -point links over this kind of network types. So we'll be using a point-to-point -point rather than using the default broadcast type. So to minimize the unnecessary overhead and the convergence time. So how we do this? We just go and say IP OSP of network. And if you use question mark, you'll find the different options. Like uh, if in this example, I do have a connection between router one and router two. So I'll change this link between one and two to point to point. So let, let me just quickly go on router one and the router two. If I say show IP OSP of neighbor, the router one is establishing neighborship with two links. One is on the serial link, which is default point to point. And this is a broadcast network. And that's the reason you have a DRBDR -DR options. And if you want to verify, we can also verify with this option, show IP OSP of interface. You can see the network type is broadcast. So what I, what I want to do is I want to change this network type to point to point. So how we do that, we just go and say interface IP OSP of network. And there are different network types options we have. Uh, default is broadcast anyway, but here I want to change this to point to point. Now, one more thing you need to keep in mind, whenever you change the network type on one side and opposite side also, you must match. So if the network type mismatches, then the neighborship will impact. So for the time of troubleshooting, you need to keep this in mind. So make sure that the network type also matches on both the sides uh, for OSP of neighbors to come up or for the OSP of to work properly. So in my case, I'm going to change on the other side as well changing the network type to point-to-point -to -point here. Now, once I change the network type to point-to-point, -point, we should see the neighborship should be up. You can see on the router two, the neighborship is up and there's no more DRBDR, even though I'm connecting my ethernet interface here. And if I say show IP OSPF interface F0 by zero, the network type, it shows you the network point-to-point. -point. So in some kind of networks like as I said, when you're connecting a point-to-point -point link over Ethernet, then it's it's always the best practice to change the network type to point-to-point. -to -point. So these are the two types of point-to-point -point links. You will see either you are using a serial interface, uh, connecting to uh, routers using some kind of uh, lease line connection or any other technology, which automatically takes it as a point-to-point. -point. Or in some kind of Ethernet links, also we may want to change the network type to point-to-point -to -point just to minimize the unnecessary overhead. And to, uh, and to just remove the DRBDR options. So we can also do it manually over the ethernet links.